in this episode of All Access. Kevin respects the way Zach goes about his business. Zach Levine's got the mojo going. We more than capable of putting up big points. That was by far Patrick's best game of the year at both ends of the floor. Time is money. We play them again tomorrow. Our players don't make excuses. Those vets, they really help the young fellas. It's pretty cool to watch. We got Bulls Nets tonight in Brooklyn. Steve Nash and the Nets decided to part ways. This team is dealing with a lot of different issues off the floor. Offensively, this is a showdown. Zach against Bonanabi. Once it feels it steps back. Left point three and a big splash for Zach Levine. Long time left right now, but we got to have good possessions down here and stops. All right, here we go now. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. The Bulls in transition. Wide open left side. Levine. Bam! A wide open left side three ball. Levine walks and feels it. Top side three. Yes! Zach Levine's got the mojo going back to back checks for the veteran of UCLA. Kevin respects the way Zach goes about his business, and that's about the highest praise you can get in the league. I mean, it's KD, it's Steph, LeBron. If you have one of those guys in your corner and, and they see what you put in day in and day out, that's as high as it gets. They gonna keep coming. Hey, they gonna keep coming. I'm going for 16. When you have that bond in the Olympics, that's something that always goes on through time. And I know there are a lot of people, not only in this Nets organization, but across the league that are still looking at Zach and saying, he's great now, and they think there's another level he can hit. Back in front, Levine, top side three. And the Chicago Bulls go into Brooklyn and come away with a win. We always come back, man. That's what, yeah, there we go. Come on, man. You know what I do. Always come back, man. It's a long game. We got the talent to do it. Last night was by far Patrick's best game of the year at both ends of the floor. He is playing with so much more confidence. I don't really get worried or like bogged down or anything like that. Things don't go my way. I think I just figure it out. You know, you feel him out there physically. I like, I like the way he's rolling to the basket. I like the way he's defending. I like the way he's getting his body into plays. But I, I just think that when you see him athletically, he's getting his, his talent into the game. And he's been assertive and he's been aggressive. Patrick Williams. Told you. He's finding different ways to score now. I'm just, just trying to play with more energy, and when you play with energy, good things happen. So, uh, I mean, I, 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 time? I, <laughs> I need it. I need it, Pat. Bang, bang, bang. Give me the hot sauce, B Dub. He's getting his rhythm. You know, figuring out when and where to get his shots. He picks up the slack because he's capable of it. And, you know, he has to play a role with this team, but he's more capable of putting up, you know, big points. Vucevic, nice pass. Oh, Nice just trying to call it get get lost in a battle, get lost in a fight, get lost in the game in the war. First win on a back-to-back -back this season. Yes, sir. Pretty good, pretty good, good win, good win. Told you. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, man. It's the hardest job, bro. That's yeah. like Monday is a Monday. significant day in your world. It's your 900th NBA game. Now, how does it feel? to be in the 900 club old <laughs> no i mean i didn't even knew so it, it feels awesome um, you know i never thought as a kid that i'm gonna play 900 games in nba so uh, you know i'm blessed and it's privileged to be in this league and i'm happy for it so first time you put that nba jersey on first time you're in the league you know as a as a young kid coming from europe that was a big deal for me levine finds caruso Thread the needle there, Dragic, that's a three. To me, he has been one of the key underrated acquisitions. Smart, tough, experienced. DeRozan, count it, and one. This guy is just ridiculous. It is a building. Caruso drives and throws it down. How about that? Alex Caruso. Oh, turn the AC up. And we talked about Chicago's defense. I will say, like, they have given up a lot of drives straight to the cup. Celtics' big advantage points in the paint. Shot in the face. DeRozan drives it. Brown is up. Shot is good. 28 for DeRozan. 
I mean, he was just spectacular. I mean, he, he's got a, you know, kind of like a refuse to die attitude and just keeps hanging in there and keeps battling and fighting and competing. Count it, and the foul! A master class tonight from DeMar DeRozan. He's got 41 points on Levine. Stop, double team, kicks it out. White, a three-pointer. Bang! Derek White from downtown! And this one's over. Williams from Jason Tatum. A mesmerizing performance from DeMar DeRozan. You know, there's no moral victories. I'm not saying that at all, but there have been, you know, some, some growth in, in, in competing against the upper echelon teams. We competed. Uh, we knew it was going to be tough coming in here, especially after just beating them not too long ago. Yeah. It sucks to lose, but, you know, we understand that we could do it every single night, no matter who it's against. And we just got to keep that confidence and move on to the next one. Know we're going to have a tough one in Toronto um, a couple days. How are you, man? Good. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Yeah. How are you? Hello, friends. Thank you. This is nice. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's the boy from Brampton. <laughs> the new boy from Brampton. Done good. We lived right around the corner from this park right here. This is where, you know, I really became a man. Um, you know, a lot of my friends are still here today. <laughs> How are you, buddy? How are you, buddy? Good? Hey, bro. How are you? Are you still playing golf today? They're here supporting me here today, so. This is home. I love this place. Hi. Hi. How, are, How you? are you? I'm good. Good to see you. I'm trying to keep it quiet. It's good and warm. We used good. to actually play here. My aunt lived right yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, Everybody was coming here. Everybody this here. was the first basketball court in Brampton. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How are you? What's your name? Yusuf. Yusuf? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Hi, I'm Mark. How are you? Nice to meet you, Saren. How are you, Mark? Honored to have you here today. Thank you so much. Pleasure to meet you. Looking forward to this uh, unveiling. Brings back a lot of memories. Uh, he learned the game here. You know, your friends, your family, your neighborhood shape who you are. You know, he radiates decency. He radiates uh, determination. We wanted to, to celebrate that. And this is a new court for kids to fall in love with the same game that Mark fell in love with in the city of Brampton. Thank you for joining us today for this unveiling of the Mark Eversley multi-use court. In a community, you want to celebrate role models. And I know there's a lot of young people in our community I look up to Mark as an example of what is possible. The city is proud of you, the city loves you, and thank you for being such an inspiration in the city of Ramsey. This is an unbelievable day for me and my family. 30 years ago, um, we were graduating from Cardinal Leisure, and I'm looking over here right now, and all of my buddies are still right there uh, with their families, and you know, for me, that's, that's an unbelievable thing. For the kids at the Brampton Youth uh, Basketball Club, for you, I would say, dream big. Being the first black general manager of the Chicago Bulls, that's something that I never thought was ever possible. Now, I've gotten to this stage in my life because of you know the values that my father instilled in me. I mean, for my dad, just sitting and watching him here today, it's, it's a little bit touching. You know, he's still here in Brampton, and you know, anytime we play the Raptors, I circle it on the calendar because I know. I'm gonna be able to come home and spend some time with my dad. Thank you so much. Um, this is an unbelievable day and thank you. It's been an unbelievable journey. It's not finished yet. You know, to be able to come back here today and share this with my family and friends, um, this has been terrific. Obviously things change if Zach Levine's in the lineup as well tomorrow. But the Raptors are going to put this thing on ice tonight. The Bulls will go home and try and get a split of this home and home with Toronto. I give DeMore a lot of credit. I thought he played a great game. He was really efficient. You know, I thought that we got the ball out of traps. Um, you know, some of our guys, you know, really made some good plays. We generated good shots and then it was times where I thought we just, we didn't, we didn't do a good enough job making the next play, which is, you know, what we need. The first bus, the blue backpack. Yeah, thanks. Right now, we're working on cleaning up the locker room, collecting all the laundry, sending all the bags to the truck. After that, we'll send the truck ahead to load up the airplane, and then the buses will follow behind. It's an hour and 23 minute flight. We get the hour back, so hopefully, land by 10 o'clock, uh, send the truck back to the facility. Everyone goes home and goes to bed, and we'll get up uh, tomorrow and get in early afternoon and do it again. Sometimes the truck driver has help loading the plane. 
If not, we always hop up and give them help just to make the process go faster, get us off the ground. Time is money, like we play them again tomorrow, so we just want to make sure that our process runs as fast and smooth as possible. Their plane is right behind us here, and you know we don't want to get stuck behind them in the, in the takeoff line or anything like that. And then when we land in Chicago, we definitely want to beat them through customs uh, just so that we can uh, get to bed before them. Thank you, buddy. We'll see you. Appreciate it, man. I think the challenges are, um, you know, players dealing with the disruption of their daily routine, getting the right amount of rest, getting good quality sleep, and making sure you take care of your nutrition and your hydration as well. Is that me? This is my workout. This is unique because we played Toronto yesterday, so we'll be making game adjustments for tonight. It's happened a few times this year. We're in our fourth back-to-back -back already, which is which is a unique situation and you know we've, we've got in it sometimes at two o'clock three o'clock in the morning but these players uh, are quite extraordinary it's actually a privilege to watch these guys perform night in night out without complaints and the other thing too it happens for other clubs so it's a pretty e even playing field you just got to deal with the adversity of it and you know our, our players don't make excuses they're good fellows and they they turn up and play hard for the club Target, circle left, steps back, 16-footer is good. It is 900th NBA game. The rookies that we've had the past few years, from Pat to Io now to Dalen, it's a big learning curve. It's such a unique experience to go through an 82-game season. Dalen's going through that learning curve right now. He's doing a really good job um, looking after himself. Io's really trying to work hard at you know, improving that, and, and Pat's improved that as well. Io drives Van Vliet, look at Williams! Oh, go get that. I think everyone's going through it, whether it's from Zach or DeMar, like everybody goes through it. And those guys, those vets, have been, you know, you can see it. They really help the young fellas. It's, it's pretty cool to watch. Here's DeRozan, there's the double. He's open, deflected into the hands of Caruso, who saved, saved it. it. He saved that. Nice pass to Vucevic! There you go. That was a great play by Alex Caruso. I tell you what, Alex Caruso saved the turnover. The guys understand. Like I, I think young people now are just so much more knowledgeable. The thing is, like if you don't look after yourself in, in this thing, it, it quickly exposes itself. You know, it, it shows it on the court in, in performance. Good cut by Levine from DeRozan. Nice play. It's experience and learning to deal with the mental fatigue as much as anything. The players that are really successful are the ones that are disciplined with their routine and they know if they're feeling a little bit fatigued or they're not shooting well, they know where to go to make those adjustments to fix it. And I think we're really fortunate at Chicago with the types of men that we've got in the team. And that will do it. Ball game over. Bulls win. Bulls win. Bulls win. 111 to 97 as the two teams split a home and home. You're facing the best paint scoring team in the league tonight. So good to have Andre Drummond back good time. Dragic accelerates. Dragic oh, oh, the house of Dragic. You know, last year I think we were third in the league. You know, in closing out games. Um, so I think these are opportunities for us to get better from. Right now, a two-point New Orleans lead with 6:35 to play. The Rose in the pump fake over Marshall. Oh, he bit on it too. Thought for a period of time we had. I thought some pretty good execution. We gave DeMar room to get downhill. He got to the rim, he you know, got in front of the rim quite a bit. There was a couple of them where I think we could have done a better job spacing-wise for him. Uh, I was just trying to be aggressive. You know, um, I was trying to make him make a decision. They kind of was staying home on me, so I was trying my best just to get downhill. That was going to collapse, and I was going to look for, you know, Zach and Vooch, three-point shooter. I'm in that position a lot, when we, you know, especially towards the end of the game. I haven't really shot him at all throughout my career, so I've had to work on him. The Pelicans get a back and forth victory over the Bulls tonight. Hey Bulls fans, thanks for watching this video. For more, click here.